What's up guys, John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about the ideal living situation, okay, in terms of selecting where you live in order to get the best results, okay? I also wanted to announce that on Thursday we'll be doing a roast of RSD Max, okay? So if you have any information on Max, if you took his programs, whether it be live trainings or bought his products, uh, please email me any information with reviews, John Anthony Lifestyle at gmail.com okay and before we continue please like and subscribe below if you have not already press the notification bell to receive updates about new videos Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday okay so um, first of all if at all possible you want to live downtown okay in Europe they call that city center do you live in city center yes I do okay that is where the nightclubs are the bars and you're going to have date venues within very close proximity to your home, okay? So on my current block, I have multiple restaurants, I have multiple bars, multiple coffee shops, okay? So I just alternate between all these places, okay? Sometimes I'll be at the same place three times in a day, and the staff, you know, kind of looks at me like, what the fuck, who is this guy? I had a, a staff member in um, a sushi place in San Diego that saw me in there. I was basically going there like almost every day with different girls. And she was like, are you like a celebrity or something? Are you, like, are you famous or what, what the fuck's going on here? When I ran into her in a club and I said, uh, no, I just like to date a lot of girls. And I was like, by the way, do you like sushi? And she's like, ah, and I ended up banging her, but I didn't take her to her own restaurant for the day we went somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> but so you want to live like in the downtown. Okay. That's going to put you close to the venues. And that's going to, um, you know, it's going to be easy to set up dates. Like if you live in the suburbs, for instance, and you have no date venues near your house, that causes a lot of problems, okay? Um, like, when I, okay, when I'm downtown, the girl will take an Uber or she'll take public transportation, and then we'll meet at a venue that's like less than a one-minute walk from my house, okay? And if they call you out, they're like, do you, oh, so you live around here? Like once you talk about bringing them back home, they're like, oh, so you live around here? Yes, I do, but, you know, and then I just I just know this area well. I like these places. Oh, those places, the, the chicks will be like, why this place for coffee and not this place? Oh, uh, I really like the coffee there. Whatever. You want to meet as close to your house as possible for dates, and you want to be within 20 to 25 minutes max of the nightclubs, okay? So make sure, if at all possible, you are living downtown, and that's going to give you more results on Tinder, and that's where most people are living. That's where most of these chicks of dating age are living. All right, they're not all clustered up in these little towns, okay? So, you know, some of you are, you have your jobs in this little town or, or whatever. That's, that's just gonna give you a disadvantage, okay? So try to get downtown. I know it's more expensive and et cetera, et cetera, and you might have other obligations in smaller cities or towns, but try to get downtown if you can, okay? Uh, other than that, preferably don't have roommates. All right, chicks can feel slut shamed if your roommate is home. Like, say you pull home and the roommate's there, and she doesn't want to fuck because she doesn't want to make noise and be judged by the roommate. And sometimes she doesn't want to go in your room with you because she'll be judged by the roommate. Okay, so you want to have your own bachelor pad, your own place downtown if possible, um, and preferably right near bars and coffee shops. Okay and restaurants if you can swing that as well. Um, at least within five minutes. So you can, you know, within a five minute walk, I mean. Um, five to 10 minutes. Okay, so that settles that. Uh, and you don't need to be like super, super close to nightclubs. Like guys think they need to live like right next to the club or something like that. Um, your skill is going to carry you most of the way. Okay, not your logistics. So, you know, once you get the girl to commit to leaving the venue with you, and getting into a taxi with you from a nightclub, for instance, or a bar, it's pretty much a done deal. It doesn't fucking matter if, you know, you live next door or if you live 10 or 15 minutes away, okay? You only have a slight, very, very, very slight advantage, which is pretty much negligible, okay? I, I had a penthouse in San Diego with a top club across the street, and I would take girls to the smoking section and be like, look, there's my penthouse where I live. Like, let's go up and go in the jacuzzi and drink champagne, etc." Um, we can come right back. It's just across the street. Okay, so that, that gave a, a slight edge. But in general, 
if you were to put me like 25 minutes away from a venue and put like 100, you know, newer to, to intermediate level guys, like next door to a club or on top, or like living above of a club, above a club, like they're not going to have a big advantage over me. Like my skill is going to make up for it all the time. They're not going to be able to even bring girls next door or upstairs. Whereas I'll be able to get girls consistently in the cab and then all that's left in the cab is just some extra banter. Okay, you have to keep the conversation going, you have to run your mouth so that basically there's like a, it's almost like a mathematical equation. Okay, like you can look at it like on a chart. As the conversation starts to die down, it hits like a sweet spot threshold where then her objections resurface and she is doubting going with you in the first place. Okay, so to summarize, live as close to restaurants, bars, coffee shops as possible. If you only have one venue, it's fine. Like if you're, if you're kind of like near a city, but not in the city and you have a place within five minutes walk or, or, or really close to you that you can go for meetups, that's perfect. You can just take all your dates there. Okay. If you are more than 25 minutes from a club, that's going to cause some problems. Okay. When you're, when you're pulling, when you're taking your home from the club, if it gets to be like 35, 40 minutes, like the chick's going to start to like really doubt things. She's gonna be like, Oh, should I fucking go with this guy? I'm not sure, et cetera, et cetera. So try if you can to move your job or you can live in a city, right? Like when I was working on nuclear missile defense in New Jersey, I was living in Philadelphia. Okay. And I would just commute 25, 30 minutes to work. So you can extend your commute time, live, live in the closest, biggest city. Okay. That's going to do wonders for you. That's, that's where the nightlife is. That's where the venues you're going to be going on dates are. Okay. And most girls aren't going to want to go to some little fucking shit suburb, uh, to go on these dates. Okay. They're going to prefer to go in downtown or in Europe as they refer to as city center. Okay. Um, yeah, other than that, like in terms of like rules for dates, um, I typically do coffee or drinks the first date. Okay. And second date, I typically do dinner. And lots of guys are like, I can't take a girl to dinner. I can't pay for a girl's dinner. It's not a big deal. Just go to a restaurant that, with, that has food you like. Like, I really like Italian food, so I usually ask chicks on the first date, uh, let's get dinner next time. I really like Italian food. Is that cool? Or, or I'll give them a couple options. Do you prefer sushi or Italian? Okay. Oh, this or that. Okay, cool. Boom. And then you go on the date, the second date at the restaurant. Okay. And it's not as important to live close to restaurants, like the venues you're going to be going to on your second and third dates. It's all, it's nice to have them on your block because you might not have closed the first date, but it's not essential to live like super, super close to the restaurants. Okay. Because you can meet there and you're gonna have more compliance and more investments and it's going to be easier for her to come back with you. Okay. If you can't get close to the venue for your dates, um, you're going to want to tell her, um, well, basically you don't want to, you don't want to, um, drive there. Okay. You want to just take an Uber and then if she drove, ask her for a ride home. Otherwise you can pitch her on, um, you know, parking at your place first and then taking an Uber from your place. Okay. So be like, yeah, I, I have parking here come park here and then we'll take an Uber together. Okay. Cause then what happens? You set it up so that you have to come back to your place after to, for her to get her car. Okay. So these are, these are some of the key considerations. Um, this is going to go a long way for you. I want to make this video because I think a lot of guys are, are pretty clueless. Like they're just meeting, like, don't let the chick propose where to meet. Okay. You don't want to do that. Um, like say she's like, Oh, like I live a half hour outside the city. Let's meet in my area. You don't want to do that because then it's a much tougher sell to bring her back to your place after. So what you want to do is you say, um, well, I really like this, this spot that I suggested. Let's meet in my area this time. And then next time I'll come to you. Okay. And I won't, it's just, that's just like the, that's the line you use. Okay. And that'll get her usually to come to you. So I hope this was helpful guys. Please like, and subscribe below if you have not already. And I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure to send me information about RSD Max um, to johnanthonylifestyle at gmail.com. Okay, thank you guys. Take care.